Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In the last episode, we had Princess May of Windenburg and Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay age up into teenagers. We're still trying to figure out who Prince Johan is going to maybe end up marrying, but right now his personality wise, he sort of fits Princess Amira, but I think we're going to see if they actually like do end up getting along or how the relationship gets stronger, but we will just have to see about that. But in this episode, we are going to do a few things. We're going to age up the triplets of Willow Creek um, and then I'm gonna try to spend a little bit of time not I'm gonna try not to spend too much time picking up their picking out their outfits but I always get carried away just because there's so much custom content that we could choose from and it's just so much fun so I might show you guys a little bit but not too much of their outfits um, and then I'll show you guys this new family that I moved in as well I do want to say because I've been getting a couple people saying that they want to make sims for this series which is really sweet of you guys and I appreciate that I would rather I think add your guys' townies to our legacy challenge game just because in the royal family um, in this series we just we have like specific like there's already so many sims that it's really hard to keep track of I've gotten a few requests for sims to come from specific cultures which I will add those that I already actually did which I'll show you guys but as far as adding your guys's I really do appreciate that I'm happy to add it to the game just playing purpose wise we already have so many in here that it's a little bit difficult to add any other ones so I especially because if I add one or two then a lot of other people are going to be upset if I don't add there so I just want to make sure that I say that to you guys but before we begin today's episode don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified when you when we post a new video and let's go ahead and begin today's episode so the first thing that I will show you guys so this was one of the requests that I did get was to add a sim who was african-american um, and we did already have one family but of course I want to make sure that I add a few more and then of course since we only had one family family that family ended up marrying sims of like the english background so their kids didn't even really end up looking like them which was kind of disappointing but we do have princess anna's baby lady ezra and she does look like sir marshall's but i did add one more family um so this right here i'm kind of hoping he will end up marrying lady ezra so this is J oh, I forgot to put Lord Jaden, so I'll have, definitely have to do that. But they are, because we didn't have any Baron in the Brindleton Bay world, so I figured we might as well add one. So Baron Graham, oh wait, oh shoot, I forgot to change his last name. Okay, I think we're going to have to, because that's going to bug me if I don't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Wait, what did I just do? Wait, uh, no, I don't want to move them. Okay, go here and here and let's edit them so yeah i forgot to change his last name to brindleton so i'll do that real quick and then i can also put the baby's name i can put lord in front of his name so brindleton so they're the baron so they are a very ambitious couple so i can put lord so this is Jaden. so he's the same age as lady ezra so that's kind of cool so yeah, there we go. Okay, so, and he's super cute, too. Like, and his parents are super attractive. They are very, very sweet, too. So, I think that they definitely, like, they, because Brindleton Bay is such a new world, I think a lot of people are hearing about it, moving in. I was saving it for some of the kids, like, the nobles who don't really have another place to go for when they move out. But hopefully it works out with them. Well, we'll just have to see. So, that's just a new family. We'll end up meeting them eventually. I don't think I'm gonna have... Okay, so another thing you guys were saying too is that you, you think that we should have another kingdom in Newcrest, but like we just had a new kingdom of Brindleton Bay and I don't think I can handle another kingdom another new kingdom at the moment also just like new crest like it has this like city feel to it and that's not really what I picture for a kingdom plus I already have a ton of stuff here and it, it I do have like it's a very castle theme here I will admit that this is but it's just like when you look at it like there's supposed to, like the cityscape it's like a city with buildings that just doesn't feel like a kingdom to me but you guys were saying well Princess Anna and uh, Lord Marshall they could become the rulers of that kingdom and they could that is true I think I'll wait until hopefully if we get another expansion pack or something maybe I'll try to hopefully if it works out I can make a new kingdom out of that but yeah just just wanted to let you guys know that as well but uh yeah so let's go ahead and start with the royal family of Willow Creek and we will go there first so with the kingdoms it's just I, I'm gonna keep it for four for now I like having an even number and just with the the new worlds and stuff it's just it's a lot guys it is a lot to handle. There's already so many sims. I'm like very easily pushing the limit of the amount of sims we have. So I just have to like constantly move them to unplayed. But it's just a lot to keep track of. So yeah, we're, we're going to hold off on that for a bit. 
So this is, we're here at the Royal Family Willow Creek. I'm not going to throw an official birthday party for the triplets. I believe I said I would in the past, but just for time's sake, I'm not going to do that. I don't think they need one. Maybe we'll invite their friends over or something, but I'm gonna have Princess or Queen Cora. She's going to bake a cake and then we'll just have to have them all share the same cake, I guess. Let's do a, let's do this winter cake. It's not winter time, but it's okay. Yeah, with the, oh gosh, guys, with the parties going on in the winter, I have to be so careful. I don't even think I want to throw parties in the winter anymore. Actually, also, King Edmund is supposed to age up soon too. So he he's still got like a day. I mean, technically the triplets still have two days before they're supposed to age up, but there's still like a good amount of time. Okay, so Queen Core has finished baking the cake and it looks pretty, pretty good. I'm also just, just so the kids have their, friends here i'm going to invite people over i'll invite people over from the kids club and oh no i don't want to make another club and from the royal club i think another thing we're going to do is have them start a teenagers club and we'll do that from the 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 view of princess amira because she's the one who wants to be like the leader of the club and stuff so i think we're going to do that but okay so i know the order of the kids it's prince lewis is the oldest and then prince jack and princess bell so i did have like some of the kids come over and hang out so they can kind of get to know them too because we do have to find potential marriage candidates for all of our triplets as well so for the kids club so i think i showed you guys lady aria before so she was the toddler that i thought was like gorgeous and beautiful from oh my god there's like a little fruit fly flying around it's bothering me so uh but yeah so she is from oasis springs and i just thought she was like the most beautiful toddler and she's still like a gorgeous child too i love her so she could be a, a potential marriage candidate so for the kids, I, we're supposed to put on birthday candles. I wait, Princess Cora or Queen Cora. Oh my gosh, why do I keep calling her Princess Cora? Okay, Queen Cora, add birthday candles. Why are you so uncomfortable? The llama flu. Oh my gosh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, take some medicine. You do not want the llama flu. What in the world? That sounds awful. That sounds horrible, actually. Okay, so she is taking her medicine and then... Have you not put birthday candles on this cake yet? Because you need to. Why don't you do that now? Okay, so birthday candles have been added. So Prince Louis is first going to blow out the candles. Oh gosh, there's three of them. So it's gonna take even longer to pick out their outfits and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Maybe I'll just change their hairstyles and stuff, but yeah, not, not everything. So the triplets, oh my God, guys, the triplets are aging up. This is exciting. I'm excited. I forget who's next to age up. I think it's Prince James of Brindleton Bay is next. And then I think the Oasis Springs kids are, are the youngest. And then I think uh, Princess Naya should be pretty soon as well. So Prince Louis, so he's the genius. He's our little genius. He's kind of more serious than his brother is, Prince Jack. Prince Jack is like the goofball. So I think his, uh, what is it called? The aspiration, It is. He, I mean, would it be knowledge? If he's a genius, probably. Let's do knowledge, a renaissance sim. He wants to be good at many things. He wants to be both book smart and handy. Let's let's make him good at many things. And then if he's a genius, I think like personality wise, but do we also want to make him a bookworm? Do we want to make him, oh, I forgot about all of these new, ooh, these sims don't just want good grades. They love school and work and they're going to excel at it. I want to try this, I have not tried any of the mod traits yet. Oh gosh, I'm excited to do that. Okay, so he's going to have the electric slider rule. So that means he wants to excel at school and work. So that's kind of cool. Oh, hey, oh my God. I actually really love his outfit already. Okay, his shoes need to be changed, but he looks great already. That like never happens, guys. And his hair, his hair looks awesome. I think I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, so we have next Prince Jack. So we need to add birthday candles. I didn't realize the kids could just add birthday candles on their own, but apparently they can. I'm actually gonna have Prince Louis start his homework. Oh, he also has a project he needs to work on too. So we'll have him do that. And then let's have like, so we have all of these kids here. So we can just kind of talk to them. Princess Belle can talk to them, entertain them while they are all playing. Princess Megan is here, Princess Naya is here. Who, oh, someone made a mess, but we don't know who, but our butler is cleaning that up. So, oh no, can you not reach? Uh-oh, okay, so let's bring this to maybe the table right here. Does this gonna work? Uh, hopefully, okay, so add birthday candles. Hopefully that works. He has a project he needs to work on too. Oh my gosh, what is wrong? Why, why is he just blowing his hands? Is it because he's cold? 
Do I need to turn, oh, I think I might need to turn on the heat in the house because I don't think I have that on, but I will do that in a bit. So he's also blowing out his candle. So he is the goofball, Prince Jack. So he's definitely more outgoing, more silly. Doesn't, he might be even childish even if he, when he grows up. So that's, that's a, an option too. So yeah, he's the goofball. So for his aspiration, do we want to do mm, uh, popularity? What is this? The joke star? He wants to tell jokes and become a famous comedian. I don't know if he wants to be a comedian. Uh, maybe he'll be a party animal. That, that's one of the things. Maybe he'll be a party animal. I think that's that, that could work. So party animal, he's a goofball. He is cheerful, probably. That would be a good one to have. Cheerful, or he could also be, let's see, loves the outdoors. Hmm, why don't we go, or just outgoing too. So, so outgoing, or what was the other thing? Cheerful. Why don't we do outgoing for him? I think that's a good choice for him. So he's outgoing, he's a goofball. His hair, not a huge fan of, but it might be okay. His, his outfit doesn't look awful, so I, I might be able to deal with keeping them in these clothes until we actually change them. Um, but I'm gonna have Princess Belle age up next, and I know exactly what trait I'm gonna choose for her, guys. The one that comes with the Slice of Life mod is the Goody Two Shoes, and I feel like that's Princess Belle for sure. So I'm excited to have her do that one and that we can try that trait out. So where did the cake go? Okay, it's over here. So we added the birthday candle. So Princess Belle is going to age up into a teenager, guys. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. I love her. I love her a lot. And I know I always say that, but I love her mother, Princess Decora, or Cor oh my gosh, Queen Cora. How many times have I done that? I've done that like three times in this episode. Although she just looked really angry and I don't know why. Huh, acquired the violin skill. Well, that's good. And then why is Prince... Louis angry. Do we need to help you with your homework? Are you having a hard time? Help with homework. So we can help him with that. Oh no, Princess Belle's sick! Oh gosh. She's really- she's got spots all over her. <gasps> Is that gonna carry with her when she becomes a teenager? Okay, well, so she's just good. Um, does she want to be like a friend of the world? Is that an option? Leader of the pack, friend of the world. Sim wants to make and keep as many friends as they can. But she's just like good. She's a good person. She's- so, hmm, she's a good person. She could also be family oriented too. Why don't we do a big happy family? Um, well, yeah, yeah, why don't we have that for her? So she's good, she's a big happy family, and then goody two shoes could be one of the things. Although, would she be thinking about family at this age if she's a teenager? Maybe not. Okay, where though is the goody two shoes one? Because she has to be that. Yay, goody two shoes. These Sims try to be as good and try to be good and clean folks as much as possible. Wait, try to be good and clean folks as much as possible. I don't know if that's a typo, but interesting. Okay, but maybe I'll pick a different aspiration for her. Why don't we do deviant athletic creativity, food, location? What is this? Strangerville mystery? No, city native. No, she's not really a city native. Uh, let's do friend of the world. I think that's fine. So she is also outgoing. Okay, for her, her outfit needs to be changed. That is 100% for sure. Also, we need medicine because she's got spots all over her. How did she, her outfit <laughs> is not good. I don't like her outfit at all, but the boys' outfits were fine. That's, that's super weird. Okay, so why don't we order some medicine? I like to just keep a bunch in a stash in their inventory for whenever they get sick because it's just it's good to have because I swear Sims get sick like all the time guys it's actually ridiculous it's a little bit annoying too not gonna lie but okay so she has medicine so take your medicine she's feeling hysterical she needs to calm down I don't know why she's so hysterical at the moment but apparently she's experiencing a bit of hysteria she should probably do her homework too so okay so her spots are now gone so Let's go ahead, trying not to take too long with this, but let's go ahead and try to pick their outfits out. So I think I have some, I, I really think I can keep the boys. I think I'm gonna change Prince, uh, Prince Jack's hair. So let's start with him first. I think honestly, he's good. Maybe just the shoes and then, okay, maybe the pants because it looks like there's like a small little patch on there and I don't know what exactly that is. So the pants just might need to be changed to something like 
that or oh well although they're from they're from willow creek so he should probably have blue on so okay this is all i'm gonna do for now i'm limiting myself to that so then we're going to change prince jack's hair why don't we do like um, i think something still short is fine i feel like someone else that we just picked has that hair there's actually i think there's a bun at the end of that one there's this one so that's an option do we want to go with that one or there's also this one, but I don't know if you should have that as like a teenager. I can't have them look like, I mean, they're, they are triplets. So they might have very, very similar hair. It might be hard to tell the difference between them. I mean, facial wise, they look a little bit different. Like his nose is much longer. So they're not completely the same. I think I'm gonna keep this though for his hair. Just for now, at least I might possibly change it later, but I won't. I won't do that at the at the moment. So let's just pick his shoes, though. Okay, so just sticking with everyday outfits for now. One hundred percent want to change Princess Belle's outfit. I'm not a huge fan of this. What is with she has like every single accessory on possible, and I don't know why. Let's go with. Oh, I've got some really cute custom content dresses, though, guys. Is there one that's going to at least work for her, though? So she's. She wears blue, because that's just the family colors. So, uh, I don't know how I feel about that one. <sighs> just because, yeah, I, I got some really cute ones, though, that I have not tried yet. <gasps> oh my gosh, that I'm going to make that her party outfit, I think. That one's so, so cute. But I picked other stuff, too. I can't find it. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, should this one be her everyday outfit? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so I also downloaded some of, like, other one of these dresses because I love them. So there's that one. There's this one, too, which I think is really cute. So there are just, like, a few different options for for dresses for her. I, I don't know, though, which one. I Is that it? I think that might be it. Okay. I, again, I don't want to spend too much time with this. So... For her outfit, should we just go with something like, like, I, I let's go with this one. Because this only comes in blue, so I think she's really the only princess who could wear it because it's their colors. I, mm, it, it's okay. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna stick with this for now. I think it's fine. So then blue heels too, I think would be really cute. Ooh, I like the ones with the bow though. These are, oh, no. Uh, well, these come in the, the same blue though, and I, I like these shoes a lot. So let's stick with this one, and then I want to pick her hairstyle. So she has naturally curly hair, and it's similar to this. I don't think this is going to be her everyday hairstyle. I kind of want it to be a little bit more styled. Like, this one seems very just, like, just like down. Uh, so I want to pick a little bit something else, and I don't know if she should still have the long hair or if she should have the short hair. I mean... Her hair is a little bit more curled than that, or it was a little bit more curled than that. I don't know, though. As you get older, I think, doesn't your hair, like, the curls, don't they kind of go away eventually? So that's also also a, a thing. So I don't I don't really know with her, though. This is this is pretty. It's just, like, the top of the head is, is really high when you put this one on. Let's also see the... I mean, is that one? I just don't think that's really her. This one is not curly enough. There's... I mean, uh, do we just want to have her hair down? I think she looks really pretty with her hair down. I feel like this is fine. I think I'm going to just touch up her makeup a little bit, though. And her eyebrows. Her eyebrows are a little bit much. Ooh, whoa. Okay, uh, let's do like that. And then I think I need to change... Who Who does she look like? She does not look like her mother. Does she, and she doesn't look like her dad, though, I feel like, really, either, though. Right? I mean, I don't know. She's, she looks really different, and I was not expecting her to look like this, but I think she looks really pretty. Uh, oh, oh, another thing I got was new eyelashes! Where are they? They aren't this one. I have to find out which ones they are. I got new ones, though, and I'm really excited for them. Is it the, uh, is it that one? I don't, I don't think it was that one. I don't remember which one they are! I haven't seen them yet. Is it, but it doesn't eyelashes also come in, like, mm, face paint, I think? Was it? Oh no, those are eyes. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go here. Nope, those are also eyes. Okay, that's also not what I wanted to do. I thought these came with like eyelashes, but I guess not. Okay. Or aren't eyelashes like also an accessory? I don't know, I'm kind of confused. Okay, let's go with four. Oh wait, I don't want. What do I want? I, okay, there we go. So she actually has brown eyes, and then 
for her eyelashes, I'm just gonna go with like this one for now, I think. And then I don't even think she needs that much eye, eye, eye or makeup in general. I mean, there's this one. That She looks really good with that one. Okay, I think this is it. I might make her lips a little bit brighter though. So why don't we go with, these are all very neutral colors. We can go with, hmm, not that bright. That one, this one works. That works, okay. I think I'm happy with this. Maybe, okay, just maybe some jewelry though. We just gotta pick some jewelry items. Um, something, I though, with that, like that neckline though, I don't think she needs anything too much. That one's gonna clip her, her dress. Uh, actually, this dress doesn't look good with a necklace. I don't think so. Yeah, this isn't, this doesn't look great with a necklace. So I don't think we can pick one for this dress though. Unless we do like the pearl choker that we have. Which I don't actually know where that one... Oh, there it is. That that works, I think. I think. Uh, no, I'm gonna do no necklace. I don't know why, just they, they're not working for me. And I don't really think you can see the earrings either, but it's okay. Yeah, th that's that's not too much you can see, but you can... Oh, you can see those. Okay. And then just a bracelet too, I think is all she really needs. So let's just find a bracelet that she can wear and then maybe do her nails too so there's that one and then nails are part of the rings so we'll do like a light blue for her nails so yeah this is princess bell guys i will definitely pick out her formal outfits and stuff too oh excuse me i'll pick out her formal outfits and stuff too and show that to you guys a little bit later but we're going to stick with this for now guys i'm kind of though really obsessed with all the triplets because they are very very good looking they honestly are though like i mean you you gotta expect that they're from queen cora and prince or king edmund so you kind of expect them to look super super gorgeous but seriously though princess bell she looks so different. She doesn't really look like her brothers, but she has like a very interesting look to her and I kind of love her. So yeah, okay, so I'm going to go to Manage Worlds and I'm going to go to the Royal Family of Windenburg and we're going to have Princess Amira start a new teenage club and we can kind of pick out who we want to be part of the, uh, part of the club. So I don't actually know though, cause like really we have like the Royal Families that are all aged up into teenagers. We have some of the other kids too from the other, like the noble families that are also teenagers. So we might add them. I don't know. Princess Amira kind of had like a little bit of, of beef between them when she was a child and she tried to become the leader of the group and they wouldn't let her. So I don't know if she's still holding that grudge or not. Okay, so we are at the Royal Family of Windenburg. But first, I just remembered this. Guys, I uploaded the palaces to my gallery. So my my gallery name is wait, why is it saying I don't have I don't have okay, yeah, I do. I was like, wait, what? Um my gallery name is the real Mira Ray. I Mira Ray, Mira Ray was taken, and I think Mira Ray Simmer was taken too. So I was like, I don't know what else to do. So my my origin or gallery name is the real Mira Ray. And I have here I uploaded the castle of Brindleton Bay. So you can see who the original is by too so if you want to download the original you totally can but this has my kind of remodels to it too so i yeah and i have like the description in here also so i have the i have all four kingdom palaces so i have the brindleton bay palace we can view the catalog Ooh, wait what oh okay so there is custom content in these places so all of my custom content is on my pinterest board or and then it also will tell you what packs i use to decorate them but this is basically what's on here for now so you guys can kind of see so yeah i have all four palaces i need to redo the palace of oasis springs because it looks like it's missing a window i didn't realize the front of it looked kind of kind of bland but yeah so these are the palaces i uploaded the oasis springs royal family so also i i don't want to upload the the our Windenburg royal family yet because the episodes haven't come out yet where they are with where princess may and princess amira have become teenagers so i want to i don't want to spoil that for you guys so i'm gonna wait until they become teenagers and then I will put it in the gallery. So once those episodes go out, you can check the gallery and they should be on there. Or if, if hope, I should, I will try to remember to do that right away. So yeah, so we have a little, little um, Lady Ezra here. She's so cute, guys. I love her. She's adorable. I definitely do want Princess Anna and Lord Marshall to try for another baby too, I think. Oh my gosh. And look at Princess Amira though, guys. She kind of looks like a Barbie, I'm not gonna lie. Like, she actually looks like a Barbie, and I didn't realize that before. It's just, like, all the pink and stuff. 
Princess May is a little bit more like down to earth and loves the outdoors and all of that stuff too. She's wearing her cold weather outfit, which I think I'm actually eventually going to change. I haven't changed her everyday outfit yet, but I did download some new custom content. So I will try to do that eventually. But yeah, so I'm going to have Princess Amira. She's going to start her new club. So create a club. I'm going to do the Royal Teen Club. Ooh, yep, there we go. So, of course, you know, Princess Amira, she loves being the leader of a pack. So I'm going to have their, what should their symbol be? I think I'm going to have it be this diamond right here. It's invite only. Club hangout can really be any of the the members households uh, i'm not gonna add a description right now you guys know what it is so uh we're going to have i guess just like oh right right the requirements so they need to be teenagers to be part of this club so age teen and then of course financial status is going to be the wealthier that i can't believe wealthy is more than thirty thousand dollars i feel like it should be way more than that but whatever okay so they need to be a teenager but why are these, why are they here? Why are these options here? Wait, oh, age. Oh, I didn't actually pick that. Okay, age, teen. Okay. Okay, so now they're just showing us our teenagers. So, Princess May, of course, Prince Louis, Prince Jack, Princess Belle, Prince Johan. So, it's really the ones that we have for now. I do want to add more people, though. I don't think it has to be a royal kids club. Like, it doesn't have to just be royals. I think... I think we're going to add the teenagers too, like Lady Ava, of course. We have Lady Corit. Oh wait, is that all? I Up to five Sims to add. Dang it! Oh man. Okay. Um. Well. All right. Well, I guess we're just keeping it with with them for now. So, oh, well, we will hopefully get more points to add more soon. And then the club activities we're going to have. Oh. Okay. Why don't we do like I don't know. Hmm. What's something, like, they're, they're kind of normal activities. They could try on outfits, like, well, but then they're all in ridiculous outfits all the time. They should do their homework. I think that's one of the things that we should have them do. So do homework is one of the activities. We also want to, I guess, food and drinks, so they could, um, no, all things grilled cheese, bake, cook, art and music, DJ, dance, they could, dance could be one of the things they do. Painting could be one of the things they do. I don't know. I, I'm gonna pick this later because I don't actually know what to have for their their club activities at the moment. Right now, it's just do homework, but we'll, we'll add, I'll add more a little bit later. I just, I don't know, like there's not, I don't know. I don't know what they should do. I guess like uh, kids activities, play with toys, home activities, watch TV could really be one of the things, I guess. I mean, eating, food, going out, hanging out with each other. They're just, there's like a bunch they could really do. So I'll definitely come back to all of this and, and try to think of other stuff that they could do. I mean, they could play like, don't wait the llama or play chess or something. So I'll just, I'll add that for now. And then I will add other stuff later on. So they are in, they have the Royal Teen Club. So I need to start a gathering so we can gain more points so we can add more people because I did see other teenagers that we definitely want to add like Lady Corinne and Lady Ava. So it looks like they're a little bit older. Wait, so is, is Prince, should Prince Kellen age up too? I feel like he should, right? Cause I'm pretty sure Prince Kellen is about the same age as the triplets. I think he's like a little bit younger than the triplets. Triplets, Tri triplets. <laughs> um, so why don't we age him up too? I was not planning on doing I don't know guys I think I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait another no we're gonna age him up now I'm just we're we'll, we'll do it now so we can have let's see princess Amira or someone someone needs to bake a cake here do we have a cake in the fridge more choices open we do not okay so I wish you could ask your butler I don't think you can ask him to specifically bake a cake you can ask him to cook a meal but I'm pretty sure you can't ask him to specifically bake a cake, right? Also, what? You know this butler. He's been your butler since you were like a child. Butler. Assign task. Prepare a drink. Play piano. Cook party meal. So you can like cook a meal. But you can't cook or make him cook a birthday cake. So that's not really an option. So that's kind of, kind of upsetting. Oh no. Why is Lady Ezra angry? Oh, because Lord Marshall, are you pushing her too hard? You should give her a break. Tell her a story or something. Brighten her day. Make her happy. She's upset. Read toddler book. Yeah, I think she's upset because she doesn't want to learn anymore. Flash traded. What? Oh. <laughs> From flashcards. So instead of frustrated, it's flash traded. 
That's funny. Okay, so I'm gonna just make everyone's needs go up. And then we have, so we have everyone here. So these are their cousins, wait, is it right? No, this is Prince Louis. Yeah, these are their cousins. Oh my gosh, guys, they are adorable. They seriously are. Girls are gonna go crazy for them. <laughs> oh, excuse me, oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> so, um, so why don't we have her play with them? And then we have, of course, Princess Belle, who is like Princess Amira's best friend. They are so, so close, guys, which is so funny because they didn't really get along very well when they were toddlers. And then, oh, Princess Anna is also beautiful, guys. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out where they should move to. I was having them think of moving them to a, a house in Windenburg. Maybe I'll move them back to... Del Sol Valley first and then figure out later on where where they will live. Um, and I'm definitely, cause she needs to be here though while the kids are teenagers. I think she wants to definitely help them out, but I also want her to have another baby. But I also think she wants to be closer to home. So I know I'm like every episode I've been like debating this, like saying she's gonna move out and then she doesn't move out. I'm just not quite ready for her to move out yet. And I don't think they're ready for her to move out yet either. So then we're gonna wait just a little bit on that. So we are going to have the, oh wait, is the is the birthday cake done? Yes, King Henry, you did a good job. Okay, so we're gonna put this in his inventory and then we're going to move this up here so Prince Kellen can blow out the candles. So we're gonna have him, I'll put the cake like right. Can they reach that though? Okay, yeah. Add a uh, Prince Kellen, add birthday candles. So they're all going to be teenagers. I was not ready to do this, but I think it's fine. Oh, Queen Ezra's here. This is who Lady Ezra's named after. Oh wait, oh gosh, she's possessing one of the, the the bins. Who is this? This is Queen Isabel. Yes, it is. That's their grandmother, guys. That's their grandmother. Okay, I kind of want Lady Ezra to meet her grandmother that she's named after, but the ghost is really busy possessing something. Oh, okay, there we go. She's back. Okay, so talk to stranger. So you can meet your grandmother or great grandmother. I think it's her is it her great grandmother or grand great? I don't know. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so we're gonna have Prince Kellen blow out. Oh wait, no, no! I have not gotten a portrait of him as a child yet, so we can't do this yet. Oh my gosh, I did. I totally forgot about that. Okay, so sit here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I totally forgot. We're going to sell this painting to a collector and just have a Prince Kellen. You're just gonna have to sit. Yeah. Just, just sit down. You don't have to do your homework at the moment, but talk to your aunt and continue to sit because I, no, no, you have to stay. You have to stay that entire time. No, go back. Just keep sitting. And then Princess Anna can do a paint from reference, a medium painting from reference. I'm just gonna keep having Prince Kellen sit because I don't want him to move. No, wait, why can't you paint anything? What? Why? What? Uh, paint from reference, medium painting. Why can't you paint, guys? What is happening? What is happening? Why can't I build on this lot either? Oh, okay. Build mode? Why? I'm so confused. Oh, it was because Lord Marshall was gonna paint something. What the heck? Okay, no, you can't paint something. Princess, An no, stop. Princess Anna's gonna paint something. Seriously, you need to move. Get out of here. Okay. Prince Kellen, keep sitting. Do not move, please. And then Princess Anna can scrap this painting and she can do a... Where is it? Paint from reference. Medium painting from reference. Okay. Oh gosh. It doesn't look like he's looking up. Oh my gosh, I swear. Okay, guys. Honestly, I give up. I removed the chair. I cannot, cannot get a good picture of him. This is actually insane. <laughs> I'm trying so hard, but it's not working at all. I literally, he just keeps looking down because he's short. So I just, it's, it's, this is impossible. I give up. This is not happening. He won't look up. He won't do anything. So we're not going to get a picture of him as a child. I'm just going to, I mean, we have like a good amount of pictures of him in general. So I'm just going to get like a few screenshots just so we have some pictures of him. I don't think we're going to be able to get a portrait of him until he's like actually a teenager or something because this is, this is ridiculous though. And I mean, he's super cute, he's adorable, but yeah, I just don't think it's gonna happen. So 
we're just gonna have him age up into a teenager and that'll be that. So blow out candles. So sorry I bothered you guys with that, but I thought it was important to get a good picture, but I could not get one. But we have one of him when he's a toddler, so I think it's fine. It was, oh God, that was so difficult. I don't know why it was so, so difficult. So, okay, so he's gonna become a teenager. So he's outgoing. So I think, I mean, I guess another thing for him would be like the whole popularity thing. He wants to be, or, or maybe he knows that families is really important for him or a super parent. I don't know about that yet though. Mm, does he want to be, Princess Belle is the leader or a uh, friend of the world already, but I feel like if they want to be outgoing in general, maybe that should be, maybe that should also be his. I think we're going to do that for him. And then uh, I want to think of something else besides like a social trait. I think, is he musically talented? I don't remember. He could be active. He could be a goofball. He could be self-assured. He could be a perfectionist. I don't know if he's like a super perfectionist, but that's just like an option if we want to do that. We also have, I don't really think any of the new ones will work for him. Why don't we make him, make him active, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with active for him. So this is Prince Kellen. He is a teenager now. Actually, okay, not a huge fan of the pants, but everything else looks fine. I'll probably end up changing his hair for sure but we can definitely do that later on so he's a teenager do we have enough points to add another we do we can already add someone else so club perks so we'll go ahead and just add prince kellen then and then prince kellen we also need to have him meet like lady corinne and all of them too so and like lady well lady ava's a little bit too old for him i think but that's just a possibility so now we have just teenagers guys i can't believe it i was not expecting it to be that fast but there it is so that is yeah that's that so for the future though Okay, I will, I will by the next episode try to have Princess Anna, what is going to happen with them, decided. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just have to figure that out later. Also, one of their viewers was saying, like, th they think that King Henry should, like, have a lot of bastard children. I don't think I'm gonna do that, to be honest. I just don't think that's what King Henry would do. Maybe another king, but not, I don't think King Henry is like that. I think he's still mourning Prince or Queen Alice. So, like, he might be upset about that. Like... He's not really that lonely. I mean, he's got a full, like, happy family and everything. So I just, yeah, sorry. I just don't think I'm going to have him have a mistress or anything. I just think that, especially since, like, the majority of people were saying that he shouldn't remarry and stuff, too. So, yeah, I mean, maybe we'll see. But that's just my thought on it on uh, right now. So just wanted to let you guys know that. But I think I'm actually going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the new teenagers and their outfits and everything too. And I'll try to make sure I have like their full set of outfits done by the next episode. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notification. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I will see you guys in the next video.